What do people incorrectly assume about you when they first meet you? Because I'm good at breaking ice and like to talk about various subjects, I'm a sociable and outward looking guy. Fact is I'm an introvert who learned to adapt when stuck in some situations and if I effectively like to share things with people, I'm not running after them and their attention. On another hand, many people often believe I'm nice and easygoing so some came to think I was an easy to screw up gullible guy. One of my great guilty pleasures is to show them how fierce and brusque I can become when they thought they could play me like a fiddle. That I care about identity politics or black culture. Usually happens with people who don't know very many black people. Almost every time, they try to relate by eventually bringing something related to black culture up only for me to have no idea what they're talking about. I remember someone brought up the powerful lyrics of Straight Out of Compton. I've never even heard the song all the way through, still don't know who sings it, and have no clue what it's about except for that the man seems to have come from Compton. People always think that I'm some kind of snobby rich girl who's stuck up and arrogant. Honestly, it's really annoying. Like, just because I have expensive things and go to nice places doesn't mean I'm some stuck up rich princess. I'm just a regular person, like everyone else. But for some reason, People always assume I'm some kind of mean girl or that I'm too good for them. It's honestly kind of exhausting to have to constantly prove to people that I'm not mean or stuck up, that I'm extroverted. I used to do a lot of community theater and was often featured as a dancer or soloist. I know how to socialize and be friendly and the right topic will have me chattering, but I hate being in the spotlight. Social interactions are quite draining for me and I'd rather spend a quiet evening at home rather than at a party. If I'm not on stage playing a part, I'd rather disappear into the background and keep to myself. My nationality I've been taking informal surveys, the results follow. 45 of all guessers I met think I'm French. 20 guess Spanish. 16 say Italian. 7 call me Mexican. 5 Romanian. 3 just assume I'm Irish, weirdly admittedly the locals here are darker than usual. 3 say Bulgarian. 1 assume I'm Greek. I have absolutely no genetic ties to any of the above, lol. Half Swedish, half Portuguese Azars. As a tall woman with blonde hair and a large front porch, it has been assumed. I'm abysmally stupid. I'm a husband boyfriend thief. I'm stuck up. I'm a slut or easy. Any accomplishments are solely and only the result of the above mentioned physical attributes or because I slept with someone boss, professor, etc. And I've been told I intimidate the living shit out of men. As a skinny, bespectacled, White guy and I'm pretty sure that every single person I have ever met assumes that I spent all of my free time playing D.D. In fairness to them, I do watch a lot of Critical Role, but I've actually played the game, maybe, three times ever. The silver lining is that I've successfully used that assumption to win many games of two truths and a lie. That I am the teacher. I must just give off teacher vibes. It happens all the time. People don't often ask me my occupation at all and more often than not they ask things like what grade do you teach, rather than what do you do. I've had casual acquaintances that I've known for years tell me they always thought I was a teacher if my actual job comes up in conversation. That I am a square. Very noticeable at my new work. I found myself at the older age band 56 meters, when my colleagues were kids younger than me, but I would emphasize how anyone under 30 was a kid and gun. Some people have realized that not only am I bi, I have very recently had an exploration, meaning I have tried most drugs, being addicted to meth, and chem sex. They assume that because I'm a man of few words and mostly keep to myself, that I'm shy, timid, and easy to manipulate. Sometimes I'll play into their games just to see where they're taking it, but I'm either the nicest person you'll ever meet, or the embodiment of Satan, it's up to the individual which side they provoke, and I'm ruthless. I can hack heavy metal. I'm a strict vegetarian for years. People assume they can't eat meat in front of me. I don't give fuck. Eat your steak in peace and let me eat my soy in peace. It's no one business what is the other person eating. Peace. I don't tell people I'm vegetarian unless we hit the topic when they should know I'm vegetarian like going to a restaurant act that I'm a snob with a trust fund. I took ballet for years, so have good posture. I read a lot of books and use bigger words sometimes I'm a serious person, an introverted, but not a snob. I dress professionally, though I WFH, a carryover from life in an office place. No trust fund, I'm lower middle class, and will work until I die. When people see I'm aloof, straightforward and in my own head a lot, they always I'm some manic pixie dream girl who just needs the right person to help me overcome my trust issues and open up. 
They get pretty disappointed when it's revealed I'm really just a robot who finds the voices in my head more interesting than native people. But I like Broadway music and do drag. I hate modern Broadway and I'm too lazy to go buy dresses and wigs. No I don't own a feather boa. You creep people get so weird. No I don't own a sequined vest. Why? Taylor Swift at karaoke? I don't know a single song by her. No I can't do your hair or nails. No I can't be your pageant coach that I'm American or Canadian for some reason. Especially in rural areas. I have a very typical accent for when I'm from Edinburgh, UK but a lot of people can't place it unless you are from a very posh part of the city Morningside or the outer edge of the city which sounds more like other towns in the central Scottish belt. That I'm smart. I use big words because I've read a lot and I know a bunch of random junk. The thing is though is that I have very little common sense and suck at putting two and two together at times. I also do plenty of unnecessarily dumb stuff. Don't get me wrong, I'm not stupid I'm just not as smart as people believe. I'm in my mid-forties, white, male, dress in a plain manner, have short hair and glasses, and live in the rural south in the US, so people very often assume that I'm conservative and all that typically comes along with that. But I'm a non-religious progressive socialist who's to the left of almost everyone that I know. That I've led an easy life and thus shouldn't be very streetwise. Then they find out I've spent nearly a quarter of my 33 years fighting to survive in places like Skid Row, Compton, Miami, Seattle's or Ora Avenue, and have seen and survived more shit in the streets than most people deal with in their whole lives. I was originally thought of by the boys I went to high school with as a foreign exchange student that I was a very masculine boy that liked dressing as a girl but luckily the girls who got to know me would tell them get their heads out of the gutters they've seen me naked in locker rooms so they know I'm a girl. That because I'm an only child I was spoiled. Yes I had a horse growing up, but lived without any neighbors and I had a mother with BPD who spent hours screaming at me. The horse was my only refuge. I went to Catholic school and the nuns treated me like shit too. Everything I've ever gotten I've earned. People always tell me that when they meet me they think I'm gonna be an asshole or a tight ass. I think it's cause I don't smile or give a friendly look. But it's just cause I'm extremely introverted and have low self esteem due to my social anxiety. But once you meet me I'm just a guy who likes to laugh all day. That I love clubbing and partying. I'm an extroverted person and make contact really easily, and I'm quite spontaneous. I also enjoy people's company. But that doesn't immediately translate into me being such a party goer and heavy drinker. I enjoy quiet social settings or small house parties much more. They think I'm really outgoing and an extrovert when I'm really shy and introverted. I'm just good with one on one small groups and ask the other person a lot of questions I don't have to talk about myself. I never approach people or initiate conversations, I'm just good at holding them. I'm quiet and a bit shy while I'm getting to know someone or in a new social situation. People take that to mean that I'm very prim and proper and meek. I'm not I have a sarcastic sense of humor and strong personality that shocks people who I'm comfortable around once they get to know me. Kinda depends on how old they are. Adults tend to think I'm studying business or economics big family business, I'm the only grandkid, but I'm actually getting a degree in English and going for a master's in library science. Kids either think I'm pregnant or a forest witch. I'm unusually large so people sometimes assume I'm an asshole. Like a bully or something. I've had so many people tell me when I first met you I thought you were a dick. I'm also kind of introverted but I guess the combination makes people assume I'm an asshole and not a shy large dude. I've had so many people tell me after they've gotten to know me that they thought I was a bitch or mean just based on my resting bitch face and my normally quiet and less approached disposition, and were surprised to find that I'm not in fact a bitch. Well, unless it's warranted. Sometimes, that I'm a pushover. I'm generally anxious reserved around people. The bullying or drama thriving types occasionally think they can get away with treating myself or others poorly, but I snap back and it often seems to come out of nowhere so it surprises a lot people. That I'm rough or up for a fight cause I have quite an aggressive sounding Scottish accent and a low voice for a woman. I'm an extroverted pacifist who gets compliments and customer service and loves knowing people. I'm also 5 feet, so I'm not psychically aggressive either, smiley face. People have always assumed that I'm not capable of fixing things. I'm not sure what it is about my looks that does this, but it's followed me my whole life so far. I actually have a background in mechanical engineering, but nobody believes I know how to change a tire. I'm a bigger guy. I lift a lot of weights and take fitness really seriously. I'm pretty muscular with a definite resting bitch face for a guy. I'm very sensitive and self-conscious. 
which I imagine most people wouldn't and don't see when they first meet me, that since I'm a tall muscular black guy with dreadlocks, I must be a football player. Sorry, but no. I simply like to work out just like you, buddy. Also I've had more than a handful of people drop their jaws when I tell them what I actually do for a living, that I had a typical upper class upbringing. I finished college with loans that took 20 years to pay off. I always worked hard at my office jobs in order to make a good life for myself despite being on my own since 18 from a rough poor abuse of childhood. Dumb blonde. Blonde is not mentally challenged. You do not need to use easier words when speaking to me. Also, the assumption that I dye my hair because it's so light. There's something called natural hair color, people. Og, pisses me off each time. That's just because I'm undead, I want to eat their brains. The truth is that I want to check first that their brains will actually be nourishing before I go to the trouble. If they love Trump or Elon Musk, for example, their brains are no good to me. That I'm really naive. I have a baby face and look far younger than I am. I'm a 36 year mom of three who used to run Live Sound for predominantly rock alternative metal, but if you just met me on the street you'd assume I'm just from New Girl. I'll post for my wife as well. She is petite and quiet polite etc people think they can be twats to her or me, see previous posts but if you piss her off, well, you're on your own mate, I'm staying 25 foot away from you. good luck. Super serious, super judgmental, and super stubborn. Couldn't be further from the truth. I really do think I just have that murder face that's always analyzing you when really I'm afraid of people making assumptions about me.